Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Gemini. We're doing a bonus love reading for the month of February since it's Valentine's Day. Um, if you follow me, you will know that I like to give away free things. Um, there's no exception here except that usually I make you work for it by hitting the subscribe button and commenting below. But this time I'm not going to make you work for it. It is going to be at the end of the reading. So therefore just stick around and you will see what I have. I have a special gift. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is a bonus. So if you like the bonus and you want me to keep doing some bonus readings, go ahead and just leave me a comment below. Let me know. Um, I'm trying something new. All right. So, um... The energy that I'm getting for you guys is reevaluate. Reevaluate what you want in a partner. This message is a general message, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, and also, you could check out your rising and moon signs. Um, yeah, and it's also good for singles and couples. All right, I'll, I'll tell you if it's strictly for a single or a couple. But most of the reading will be good for both. All right. But this is about reevaluating. Reevaluating the type of people that you want in your life, the type of person that you want to be with. So this could be for both singles, couples. Um, you've got the Page of Wands there. You need another card, though. Let me see. So I'm feeling for those of you that are in relationships and those of you that are out of relationships is that, you know, with the five of pentacles showing up, up, this is about feeling left out in the cold. And what they're telling me right now is that some of you are with somebody just so that you could be with somebody. Because some of you have felt this left out in the cold has been with somebody that has broken up with you, has destroyed your self-worth in some way, and has left you hurt. And you're carrying that into a relationship with somebody else. And you want to be with someone just to feel the security of having somebody, being with somebody just to feel loved is the message that they're giving me here. And they just gave me the chills. So that is correct for some of you. Yeah, but this is what you have is the nine of wands. This is about having your guard up because you've been hurt. And a lot of you have not released this pain from the past and is now holding on to it going into your new relationships. And it makes you in this energy where you're sitting there with your lion ready to pounce if you need to, ready to fight if you need to, because we're not going to get hurt like that again. Like how many times do I need to go through? Yeah, look at all this. Four of Pentacles, trust, a lack of trust. You can see she's holding on to her Pentacles for dear life. So they're making me feel like when love is brought up to you, hold on as tight as you can to it. Because when it lets go, it's going to hurt. And you don't want to feel that again. Because we haven't released or gotten through what you've been through before. Yeah, look at this. Two of swords. You stay blinded. You stay blinded to the fact that there's things that need to be dealt with here. <laughs> they told me, okay, we're done with this type, and now it, we're moving on of what we can have if we choose to heal. Yeah, look at this. You can have it all. You've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. You can balance. going through healing, letting those emotions, letting revisiting. Now, listen, I've been through therapy. I get it. Therapy is painful. You rehash the same thing over and over and over again. 
Healing is different. We go in once, we touch upon the subject. By the time we are done, it's gone. It's released. We don't rehash it. That's what we do within the Reiki sessions. This is what they're showing me, is once you heal that, you've got it. You've got the abundance. You can handle anything is what they're showing me. Like, you can handle anyone coming in, and I feel like it's going to be yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, instead of settling for what's coming to you now because you just want to feel something. Nope, they want me one more card. One more card. Hmm. Recognition, praise. This is rising above, rising up. Rise up from this energy here. Rise up, get away, release what has, is holding you back from real love. If you're single, it's you keep going after the, the guys or the girls that, you know, they're telling me like a lot of narcissism here because you're going after the guys or girls that are going to give you that attention in the beginning and then all of a sudden they cut it off and then now you're like hooked and you want it, you want it, you want it. And it's like you feel like a needy school child. It's like, why don't you love me? Why don't you love me? Why don't you want to be with me? What's wrong with me? But that's because you haven't risen up. You haven't gotten over this energy yet. So in order to have the love that you want and the love that you need, you need to make sure that everything that's happened in the past is released. And then you can start picking and choosing and not settling. Be like, mm, no, I don't think so. Let's try you over here. <laughs> and if you're in a relationship, same thing. Rise up. Don't cower down. Rise up, release the pain from the past so you can love deeper, love, be more affectionate, not be desperate, not be needy, not be insecure, jealous, all of that. Okay, they're telling me to move on. Yeah, they're telling me this first. Okay. Okay, so you've got the ask for help card. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. If you can't get through this yourself, ask for help. There's people here to help you. I'm here to help you. I'm getting that there's someone there that's going to make, give you clarity. Okay. And then you've got the romance card. And it says, lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. So for me, that's definitely, if you're with somebody and you feel like it's good, but there's just stuff that you need to work on, is to drop the guard. And love that person. Show them how much you, they mean to you. Show them how much you love them. And how much you trust them not to hurt you. But only for those of you that actually trust the person that you're with. Let's see. Religious factors. I feel like this was with Aquarius, so you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. For some of you, they're telling me this is changing for you. Like you might have been brought up in a religion and then now it's kind of changing for you. And it's confusing. 
And also, this is also, um, they're bringing my attention to, if you're with somebody, that the person you're with might not be the same religion. And it might cause a little confusion. Mm, I think that's the word, like confusion as to how to make it work with both of those different belief systems. <laughs> and then the card we have here is oh, keep an open mind. So there we go. Spirit answers your question. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So here what I'm getting is if you're interested in someone and they don't have the same belief systems as you, like don't just, you know, like push it off. This could be somebody that is really potentially a good person for you. Keep an open mind of the person that you're trying to attract. Keep an open mind of the person that you're with, especially if you're changing and you have spiritual awakenings and stuff and the person that you're with is not following you. Give them time. Keep an open mind. It took you how long to get here. Let others do it on their own time. All right. I hope that resonates with you. And again, if you like it, you can give me a thumbs up. And you can also comment below. Let me know if you want me to continue doing these. And then now you've stuck to the end. I thank you. And I'm going to give you my free gift. The gift is basically a couple weeks ago in the membership group, we did a session on breakups and ghosting. And if you don't know what ghosting is, it's basically somebody that kind of just disappears on you out of the blue. No messages. They won't return your text, calls, whatever. They're just gone. And then sometimes they come back. Um, so spirit gave us a message with breakups and ghosting. And if you've ever been broken up with, um, you know, it doesn't matter how long ago it was, you most likely are still holding on to something. And we go through Reiki within there as well. So even though you didn't get Reiki here, you will get it in this video. So if you are, if you want to watch that, which I definitely advise to, um, it's great, powerful messages. It is in the description box below. You can just click that and you will be directed right to the video. Okay, um, I hope that resonates with you. And again, I'm going live in the Facebook group on uh, Valentine's Day. So if you are single and you're going to be home, let's mingle. Um, they're in like a little Valentine's Day party with personal love reading. So if you would like to come over there and join me, um, it's 8.30 Eastern Standard Time on Valentine's Day. All right, much love. I hope this resonates with you and I will see you guys soon. Mwah. Bye.